Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to. You can skip things or change things if they're not working for you. Let's begin on our backs. You can come into a Shavasana type position. Go ahead and spread out. And either close your eyes or take a soft gaze up towards the ceiling. Let the weight of your body fall back into the floor. Start to slow down your breath. Let's see if you can keep this slow, steady rhythm with your breath throughout the practice, whether you're resting or efforting or engaged or bored, keeping the breath slow and deep. And you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or open them as it's useful for you throughout your practice. And let's begin by sliding arms overhead. Stretch out long through your arms and legs, reach through your fingers and your toes. And then interlace your fingers and press out through your palms, flex your feet, reaching through the heels of your hands and the heels of your feet. And then release and bring your right knee to your chest. Give that knee a good squeeze in. Maybe even a little jiggle, releasing deep into your hip crease. Hmm. Straighten your right leg up, and then flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. And then bend your knee in, open your knee out to the right and straighten part way or all the way out to the side. And you can ground down through the back of the left leg. And then release, bend your knee in and take it across, spinal twist. Open out through your right arm. Let your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. And then staying in your twist, try straightening your right leg on a low diagonal, right arm on a high diagonal. And then roll back onto your back. Bring both knees in. Take a little circle or rock with your knees, massaging the lower back and sacrum into the floor. And then grab hold of just the left knee. Drop your right leg long, squeeze this knee in close. Maybe a little jiggle. And then straighten your left leg up, flex and point your foot a few times. Deep flex, full point. And then a couple of big ankle circles. A couple times one way, a couple times the other way. Bend your knee in, open it out to the left, and then straighten part way or all the way out to the side. Grounding down through the back of the right leg, finding just the right amount of effort for each shape. And let's release, bend the knee, bring it across, spinal twist. Open out through the left arm, letting your knee and shoulder reach away from one another. And then 
try straightening the left leg on a low diagonal, left arm on a high diagonal. Roll back onto your back, bring both knees in. Take a circle or rock. And then drop your feet to the floor. And we'll get set up for a little bit of core work. Start by drawing your belly in, pressing the lower back down from the inside. We'll interlace fingers behind the head. Exhale, lift head and chest up. Inhale, release down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Let's take two more. Last one. And then release. Send your right leg up. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. You might reach your leg towards your head a little bit as well. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Take one more. And then switch. Left leg high. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Up. And down. Up. And down. Up. Down. Let's take one more. And then release. Switch again. Right leg high this time. Take your left arm across. Each time you exhale, reach a little further across. One more. Release and switch. Left leg high. Right arm across. One more. And then release. Stretch long through your arms and legs. Bring your knees back in. Even things out. A little circle or rock. And then roll your way up. Let's come all the way into a high push-up position. Set your hands near the front of the mat. Fingers spread. Connect your head to your heels. Feel your whole body in a straight long line. Shift your weight forward to lower down. Come into your back bend, and this could be low or high, cobra or up dog. Feel free to move around in the pose, stay an extra couple breaths. Exploring, how is it now? And come back to down dog when you're ready. Take your time with all of your transitions. You might move at my pace or faster or slower. If you want to pedal out your feet or shift your hips side to side, feel free to move around in any way that helps you get into your body. Drop your knees and sink back to child's pose, releasing hips to the heels, forehead to the floor. With arms out in front of you, walk your hands over to the left and then pull back through your right hip, stretching right side a little more. Come through center and over to the other side. Pull back through your left hip, stretching left side a little more. And back to center. 
lift up through table, come back through down dog, and then walk your hands and feet towards one another. Let's hang in ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. You might take a sway or shake out. <sighs> Letting the weight of your head hang. And then bend your knees a little more and slowly roll up. Coming all the way up to standing. And step up to the front of the mat. Feet can be together or apart. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Standing tall, mountain pose. Let's take a full A-series sun salutation. Next inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, part way up. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra, back to down dog. And let's take five breaths in down dog or any other resting pose, child's pose, sitting, forearms, knees, really any neutral shape. More important than the shape, coming back to your breath, slow it down again. Coming back to presence. Last breath here. Coming back through down dog step or hop your feet forward. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, send the right leg up, bend your knee to your chest, and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint, taking the time you need. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, send it a little higher, and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Sink low. Feeling where you are here. Last breath. Tip forward. Standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square. And with the upper body, letting go like ragdoll. Stretch that left leg straighter, longer, higher. Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one, inhale, arms up. Sink low, deep bend in the front leg, straight long back leg, belly lifting, tail dropping, shoulders dropping, fingers lifting. Check on all the details you are aware of. One more breath here. Release, make your way to down dog.
from down dog left leg sweeps up. Bend your knee in and start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. And then bring the left knee towards the left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Now right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward. High lunge. Arms up. Settle in. One more breath here. Tip forward, standing splits. Last breath. Big step back. Warrior one. Engaging what's useful and releasing what's not needed here. Last breath. Release. Make your way. Back to down dog. And five deep breaths. Any neutral shape. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Bend the knees and come into chair. Utkatasana, hips low, head high. Engaging abdominals to support the back. One more breath here. Release, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Let's come into warrior three. Shift forward and find your balance. Square off the hips. Connect your head to your left foot. And that left foot could be flexed or pointed. What feels more fully expressed to you? Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one. Release through your movement transition. Left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Make the adjustments you know to make. How we do these poses when we're on autopilot and how you might do them when you're really paying attention can be quite different. So give yourself the gift of your full attention. Attend to the details you are aware of, consciously shifting habits. (sighs) 
Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one. Release through your movement transition. Settle into a good rest. Last breath here. Come back through down dog and step or hop your feet forward, inhaling flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms up, inhale, chair. Exhale, straighten. Again, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. Back to down dog. Right leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three, one breath. Step back, warrior one. Open out, warrior two. Take your time settling into the pose, checking on your alignment. Flip the right palm to face the ceiling, reverse warrior two. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Last breath here. Release. Make your way to down dog. Left leg sweeps up, one breath. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Warrior three. Step back, warrior one. Open out. Warrior two. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior. Straighten the front leg, triangle. Last breath here. This time to release, bring both hands to the floor, turn to face the wide end of the mat and hang in a forward fold, wide-legged forward fold as a resting pose. And you're welcome to separate your feet closer or further away. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. Take any arm position, any movement. Keeping your legs more or less how they are now, walk both hands over to the right. You might take hold of the right foot or just go in that direction and just feel what you're noticing being here, what's being stretched, what sensations are you aware of. If there's any way you want to explore or experiment here, you are welcome to. And then walk both hands over to the left. You might take hold of the left foot or just go in that direction. Again, experimenting, exploring in any way that's interesting for you. And 
Let's come through center and back to the right. This time turn to face the back of the mat. High lunge with a twist. You can either keep the left hand on the floor and lift the right arm up or take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee for a prayer twist. In either case, if you would rather drop the back knee and do a low lunge, you're welcome to do that. Last breath here. Release. Walk your hands through center and over to the other side. Take a similar twist, whatever you did on the first side. Keep looking for length through the spine as you rotate. Last breath here. Make your way to down dog. From down dog, let's come into a pigeon pose right side. When you're ready, slide the right knee forward. Scoop back through the left leg. Help the hips get as low as they'll go. Use support if that's useful, a little something under the hip or chest or forehead. Let your upper body release. Keep looking for any unnecessary effort in your face, neck, shoulders. Letting it go. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your right hip, move it out of your way so you can lean to the right and then slide the left knee forward, half hero left side. Feel free to use props sitting up on something or patting your ankle can make things less intense and if this doesn't work for you, skip it. If you are doing this pose, lean back. You can pick up the hips for a moment, tuck the tail Trying to keep the stretch in the quad and hip flexor and out of the lower back and knee. You can stay on your hands or experiment with coming to one or both elbows or all the way back. And at any point, if it's too much, come back up. Or if you want to go deeper, go lower. Keep directing the stretch from the hip to the knee. Release, lean to the right, straighten the left leg out. Just give a little rub to the knee or ankle, working out any tightness there. And then make your way back to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. You might just step back, feeling what you are doing, whatever you're choosing to do right now. You might notice the difference on the two sides and down dog. And then when you're ready, left knee comes forward, pigeon pose, left side. Feel free to set up support. 
When you're ready, fold forward, releasing into the support underneath you, the floor, your props, gravity. Hmm. Let's bring the upper body back up. If you have something under your left hip that's in your way, move it out of your way so you can lean to the left, slide the right knee forward, half hero on the right side this time. Feel free to set up props. When you're ready, lean back, tuck the tail, and then explore. Do you want to stay upright on your hands or come to one elbow or both elbows or all the way down? And keep sending the stretch from the hip to the knee, tucking the tail. To release, let's lean to the left, straighten the right leg out, give a little rub to the knee, maybe the ankle, working out any tightness here. And we're going to make our way onto our backs. If you want to take one last vinyasa, you are welcome. You can also just roll on back. When you're ready, bring your knees in, take a little circle. Let's just take one back bend, you can do bridge or wheel or whatever you feel like doing. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Press your feet down, lift your hips high. Stay as long or short as you like. Whenever the pose is complete, come down and rest. And then take some kind of counter stretch, whether that's happy baby, a forward fold, something else. I'm going to be winding down this practice. If you want to keep practicing, you're welcome to do that. If you want to wind down with me, do that in the way that feels right for you. So if you're enjoying what you're doing, keep doing it. When you're finished, check in with yourself. What do you feel like doing right now? Is there any last pose? Any stretch, any part of your body that could use some attention. If there is, take your time winding down, wrapping up. Feel free to adjust your clothing or do a little self-massage. You may want to grab props to help you be more comfortable. Eventually settling into stillness. And even though we just stay for a few moments, see if you can let go completely. Let go of all the doing. Let go of the control of your breath.
slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, move your wrists and ankles, and then take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. And roll to one side. And use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you have a good rest of your day.